YouTube Nation, Main Event TV, aka Me TV, aka One Shot One Kill, aka Y'all done pissed me off today, so now the Grizzly gonna have to come out a little bit. I'm gonna have to come out my cave now. See, I'm just gonna give y'all a little bit of a snap though. That's all y'all getting. Alright, where my fucking picnic basket? Anyways, let me get down to business. Before I even get started on football, I need some shit I need to address. Get off my fucking chest. Alright, now look. Yesterday I had about 20 messages. About 20 messages on my fucking inbox. Trying to, trying to warn me about users biting off me. Now look. Shout out to Black Bond because he was the first person out of all y'all that sent me some shit. And shout out to the rest of y'all for giving me the heads up. Okay? Now look. I want to show y'all this. Alright, I'm going to show you this real quick. Yeah, I left. I kept the email. I want to show y'all this. Y'all see this shit? I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But it says, this is P-Bone34 who did the entire intro to my motherfucking show. Now, with that being said, it says the video has been removed by the user because apparently some people called him on it. All right, they called him on it. Now, P Bone, uh, let me tell you this, guys. P Bone Thirty Four is a regular on. Or he's a regular. He's a subscriber to the show. All right, and this isn't the first time he's done this. All right, he does plug. He does promo for uh for Idiot Sports Talk, and I listen to Idiot Idiot Sports Talk on their site when they're doing a radio show, and they're doing the same shit on there. Now look, I don't have a problem with y'all doing doing this. All right, doing my setup, my style. But y'all motherfuckers have been around longer than I have. And I mean, I mean, around the same time, I guess. But y'all have your own style. Why y'all taking mine? I have no problem with you doing it. But you have to acknowledge me first. All right? Give me some fucking respect. That's how it goes. Shout out. Shout me out. Shout the channel. Put your channel on the, recommend, you know, on the recommendation list. Tell motherfuckers that you didn't originate this shit. I, I originate this shit, all right? Mr. AK all day. Let's get that straight. Now, with that being said, people, I'm not mad at you. I'm not. Okay? But fair warning. Next time, ask me. I don't want to have to get on my fuck you pay me shit. Okay? Ask me. Now, with that being said, that wasn't the only person, apparently, who's doing shit. Let me show you something, alright? I'm not going to show you. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm not going to show you. I'm gonna watch the video. Watch the fucking video. And it's your boy, CT the Beast. AKA Dr. Henry Philip McCoy, AKA Hank, AKA The Prophet, AKA The Floyd Mayweather Game. Just biting ass motherfuckers, you see what I'm saying? Do y'all see what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. And then he's gonna ask when he's questioned about, he gonna act like, oh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Look, don't go fucking front on me. Go fuck, you know who the fuck I be, okay? You went to El Prez's channel and you saw my shit up there, and then you went and followed me. You went and jacked my shit. You talking about you like Demon Souls? Let me tell you something. Look, see this? Yeah, it's a great game, but guess what? It ain't the fucking greatest game. And if you want to keep talking about it, why do you let your fucking fan base know that the online has been pushed forward to March 2011? See, I don't have time for this shit. Because Lisa, you all flash no substance. I'm not trying to hear this shit, okay? The fact is, you know you went and did that shit, all right? And then you want to take El Prez's shit. How you gonna do that shit? And you were talking about some, well, I'm a beast, this, that, factual evidence. Get the fuck out of here. Don't start taking people's shit. Shit, you, 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 need, you need proof? You wanna say you didn't? Wait a minute, here you go, here you go. I'm gonna show y'all here. Wait a minute, I'm gonna show y'all right here. What this shit say? Can y'all see that shit? It say, go, go, gadget, beast. What? Wait a minute, wait a minute. He wanna talk about factual evidence and call himself a beast? Who, who the first person that came up with the go, go, gadget shit? Me. All right, so you take a little column A and a little column B and you try to make your own shit. Nah, bruh, it don't work that way, okay? Be fucking respectful or get your own shit. Why are you riding mine? You double fist the two fucking heavyweights. <laughs> and it's fucking fitting that you will play Millie Vanilli in the background because guess what? Them motherfuckers didn't do anything original either. As far as I'm concerned, you ain't, you're not a fan of Demon Souls. You a fan of GTA. Because all you do is jack niggas shit. That's all you do. All right? Then you wanna sit here and talk about, oh, well, what's up, motherfuckers? Get the fuck out. You was not tough. You was not hard. Stop this shit. You know that. Pay dividends, motherfucker. Pay, pay fucking respect. But you don't want to do that. You just want to take motherfucking style then try to grow your own shit. Nah, man. That's not how it work here. Fucking gay ass EB. You got to be fucking kidding me.
Get your own shit. Have your all your face all blotched out in special effects like you were fuck like you fucking this guy. <sighs> See, look, look. As they say, imitation is the highest form of flattery. Often imitated, never duplicated. There is only one main event. All you gotta do is show respect. Show fucking respect. However, I will show you what I mean because YouTube user, you illini 54 says, hey man, I just wanted to say I enjoy your videos, although I'm from the shot. Shout outs to Chicago, shout outs to Shot Town. All right, look, it says, but I like how passionate you are about Philly sports. I'm thinking about doing videos like this for Chicago. He wanted to know my thoughts on that. And I gave him the green light. That's fine. But he asked first. He asked. That shows a sign of respect. You know better. Fucking jacking ass motherfucker. Anyways, let's talk Eagles football. Let's talk Eagles football. I told you I was going to get to it. Just had to get that out of my chest. Now look. Before I even get started on Eagles football, let me tell you guys that on Wednesday, if for those who did not know, there was Eagles fans there, and the Donovan McNabb fan was there, and Eagles security made that fan take off a Donovan McNabb jersey. Yeah, he had a Redskins jersey on, but still, it's a jersey nonetheless. Fuck his jersey, all right? He's a football fan. Why are you going over to him and bothering him? He wasn't causing a disturbance or anything. What the fuck you bothering him for? Look, the fact is, you have no room whatsoever to say anything to that man. And you made him take off the jersey, and you gave him a Kevin Cobb jersey. You gotta be kidding me. Look, 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 look. You can't do that. This is another way, what I've been saying from the beginning, that the Eagles were going to try to protect their boy, Cobb. I said this. Now, during the preseason tonight, Against the Jaguars, which ain't saying much, you can expect Kevin Cobb to play in the first quarter. Vic will probably play second, third quarter, and then you'll get, what's that, the Bo Kafka or whatever? Kafka, whatever his name is, you won't get him in the, in the third, fourth. Now, with that being said, remind you, remind you that the packages that we will be seeing are tailored for Kevin Cobb, okay? It's not like any other quarterback like we have McNabb. They would draw up plays, and then McNabb would have to learn this, that, and third. These packages are tailored around call. Expect five-yard dumps. Expect five-yard cross patterns, slants. You expect a lot of play action. You have to expect these things. I will be looking out for this in the game. Look for, I won't even look at Deshaun Jackson. Don't even worry about him. Look for Macklin, because we have to see if he's gonna if he's gonna get better. Alright? Look to see how the defense is. I don't see much with the rushing defense. I'm worried about our cornerbacks. I want to see if Ellis Hobbs can get over this hump. So, guys, especially after the broken neck. So, I definitely want to see the Eagles defense. That's quarterback slot and Eagles defense is the big two key factors for me tonight. Also, also, you can, you can evaluate McCoy if you want, but he's put on some weight, but that's good. He put on weight, he put on muscle so that he can take more shots. That's fine. Expect him to be splitting time with Weaver and Bell. All right. If, if, if McCoy gets fumbleitis during the during the uh, was it during the regular season, expect to see more of Weaver and Bell. Okay, I'm just saying that. But we will see how tonight goes, and watch Andy Reid. Also, watch the play calling. Watch the play calling. That's the one of the biggest factors. Watch the play calling because if Reid can't get this shit right tonight, you already know what we're in for, fellas. So get ready. Get fucking ready. It's time. I will talk to y'all later. Enjoy the game. I'll be watching. I'm out.